My name is H.J. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read all my writing, go to counterpropa.com to support this YouTube channel. Go to my Patreon link below. Congress threatens Trump with subpoena over Comey tapes. Let's go ahead and read this. Excuse my language profanity alert. Bullshit. Let's go ahead and read this BS. Conway Schiff. Conway Schiff threatened to subpoena White House over Comey tapes. The leaders of the House investigation into Russia, Russia's election meddling are threatening to subpoena the White House for records of President Donald Trump's conversations with former FBI Director James Comey, saying a tweet from the president isn't enough to clear things up. So Trump tweeted that he, he doesn't know of their existence. The two lawmakers had requested the White House turn over the tapes by last Friday, prompting a tweet from Trump in which he said he had no idea whether there are tapes or recordings of my conversations with James Comey, but I did not make and do not have any such recordings. <sighs> Hillary Clinton lost $1.2 billion after cheating Bernie Sanders, who at that time would have defeated President Trump. At that moment in time, not 2017 Bernie, 2015, 2016 Bernie. Like a baseball player who wins the triple crown uh, and then, you know, doesn't, is, doesn't, bat as, doesn't have a high, uh, as high a batting average the next year. So 2015, 2016 Bernie, Wisconsin hasn't voted for a Republican since 1984. We can go on forever. Michigan and Pennsylvania haven't voted for a Republican since 1988. Of course, they picked Trump over Clinton. I stated in 2015 Hillary Clinton would lose because she's unelectable. Now you have the media doing the same thing. The media is conspiring, colluding with the Democratic Party to just say, oh, Trump is this, Trump is that. It's, it, there's a difference between disagreeing with policy. I don't, I don't like Trump's policies, most of them. I don't want a wall. I don't want an immigrant ban. These immigrants are fleeing the hellhole we helped make in the Middle East with our foreign policy. So, and there's one country in particular that even Hillary Clinton stated funds our enemies in the Middle East, and that country is uh, mysteriously not on the travel ban. And don't tell me it vets its, uh, its people. But anyway, the Comey tapes don't exist because if they learn... If there's a functioning brain cell in the Trump administration, they learn from the Nixon White House that you don't record conversations. That's pretty freaking stupid. Okay, you don't record. You, you saw what happened to Richard Nixon. And this he said, she said, or he said, he said type thing. It's all gossip and innuendo. Comey's memos are as worthless as his decision to not find intent in which Hillary Clinton intentionally transferred special access program intelligence from secure government locations onto an unencrypted private server, which warranted the Espionage Act. That's coming eventually. Give me your thoughts below. There are no tapes. There are no Comey tapes. Trump was bluffing, but he was also kind of flipping the script. And if there are tapes, that is a very bad move. <laughs> by Trump's White House. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.